we are learning lesson is matter around the sphere uh, which is the second chapter of chemistry already i have uh, discussed with you various points related to is matter around the sphere in yesterday's lecture we have seen uh, related to the mixtures and there are two types of mixtures we have seen homogeneous mixtures and the heterogeneous mixture their properties and their differentiation along with the experiment i have explained you so today's topic is solution so today we are going to learn about solution do you know students what is meant by solution see by teaching you homogeneous mixture i have used the term for the homogeneous mixture solution so solution is what solution is actually a homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent okay what is the what is the definition for the solution solution is the uh, homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent along with me you note it down is a homogeneous mixture of solvent and solute now you may be thinking what is meant by solvent and what is meant by solute so here i would like to give example in my yesterday's lecture i gave you examples of homogeneous mixture in that i gave you example very well known example of lemonade do you remember lemonade example i gave you yes what is the combination of lemonade or what is the mixture of lemonade so lemonade is the mixture of now here we will use the term solution so lemonade is the actual solution which is the mixture of what water plus lemon juice plus salt and sugar so here in this example through this example i would like to let you know what is meant by solvent and what is meant by solute in this all four components water lemon juice salt and sugar which is the more is mostly used or in a more extent amount component which component is in the more amount and which components are in the lesser amount Yes, correct. Your answer is right. Water is in the more amount, while lemon juice, salt, and sugar are in the less amount. Actually, lemonade taste, or uh, lemonade gives the taste of all water also, lemon juice also, salt, and sugar. Exactly right. But water is in the more amount, more amount. So water will be said as a solvent, and lemon juice, salt, and sugar will be said as a solute okay so do you get students what is meant by solvent and what is meant by solute say example of uh, sugar water only if you will allow some particles of sugar to dissolve into the water in this case which will be a solvent and which will be a solute can you give answer of it yes correct solvent is water and sugar is solute so in sugar water what will be the sugar solution we can say in sugar solution sugar will be solute and water will be solvent okay so right do you give example can you give some examples of this yes you can give various example of it the component which is in a more amount is said to be solvent the component which is in the lesser amount into the solution is said to be solute okay you can note down in your notebook the definition of solvent and solute too the component which is in a more amount into the solution is said to be solvent and the component which is in the less amount into the solution is said to be solute correct so solute are always in the liquid state sorry so is it like that is it like that no it is not at all like that this solutions are of many kinds here i give example of liquid plus solid solution that is sugar solution or salt solution sugar solution or salt solution 
solution. If I will exchange this by solid, uh, salt, if I will use here salt or sugar, and here water will be common. Water will be used as a solvent over here. So solution will be form sugar solution or salt solution. So this example is a what? Liquid plus solid solution. Exactly like this. Liquid. Uh, 
uh, in mixtures every component should be added in a particular amount this is one more important property of the mixture that is it can be added in haphazardly it's any how we can add in any quantity we can add it into it so 30% grass and 70% of it do you get students so we can add in addition with any uh, so solid and solid is actually a example of error so this is also the example of solid plus solid example i give you all three examples for it now we will go for the properties of a solution do you know students can we see the particles of a
Thank you very much.